What's the word? Zapstream here. Yeah, um, so I decided to go ahead and get the uh, LCC Sanctus motorcycle. That was with the uh, Halloween DLC, and it's over at the um, uh, Auto Sports or whatever it is, the Southern Auto Sports. And uh, it's, um, it's a good chunk of change. One million nine hundred ninety-five thousand dollars, but is it worth it? People have asked that, and I asked that, and I waited uh, to try out some of my friends' motorcycles to see if I actually wanted to buy it or not. And then I just went ahead and decided that yeah, I like the bike because it's fast. Uh, any of these bikes, you know, like. Uh, the type of biker type motorcycles, you know, like baggers and, and choppers and stuff like that. Um, they all look good. Some of them look good. Not all of them, uh, especially the new ones that came out previous to this and, and uh, the DLCs, uh, you know, with, they look good, but they weren't they weren't really fast. They, they weren't really good with handling and stuff. This one is like really fast. The acceleration is just almost all the way. I think it's just 100 percent. And it's fast. And look at this. It, it'll it'll spin donuts without having to hold the brake or anything like that. This, this is just the gas full power and then just turning the wheel, the front wheel. And it just continuously goes on the, to do donuts until you you are content. And that's it. This, is, this isn't upgraded at all yet. So I decided to see how fast it was. And thanks to the help of my friend Paradox, we went to the airport and had a little bit of a race. It's not an official race, not an exact race, but we wanted to see, um, you know, what the difference was in speed or, or how, uh, if it would catch up and, and how, how good it would do. So I think that uh, even though I had a little bit of a late start I mean but it was just a tiny bit the when you do uh, modify them at, at the custom shop that they do get a little bit of uh, traction better traction so I think that was my problem here and I think I estimated it probably at about a three second delay or three second uh, follow right here and that's where we ended it but uh, it, 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 it was pretty good. It was pretty fast on its own. Very fast, actually. And I think if you don't want to spend that much money upgrading it, you should just uh, maybe armor and bulletproof the wheels. And then just kind of leave it that way. As far as uh, the headlights go, you can leave them in the skull, you know. You can leave them red or you can change them to the Xeon color, whatever it is, but you don't have to leave them red if you don't want them to. And I think that I'm going to change up the bike a different color and probably add those lights once the Halloween uh, holiday is over. Or I don't know, maybe I'll just keep it that way. But uh, after I uh, upgraded it fully, completely, I noticed that uh, the traction was better and... Uh, Definitely the, the pickup speed was faster and I definitely would recommend you buying this bike if you're not sure about buying it. And, you know, I might go ahead and sell some of the other biker type motorcycles since I probably won't ride them because I do like this one. I like the speed. I like the handling. And uh, yeah, but you got to be careful if you push the gas too fast, it'll just uh, spin out of control. <laughs> But uh, let's see what else. Oh, yes, I used like a Torino Red for the inside of the, the rib cage where the gas tank is. And the rest of it was um, Midnight Blue uh, metallic paint. And then I used a pearlescent uh, Diamond Blue. So it gives it that nice little blue shade color, whatever, almost chrome, bluish. And I left the wheels on there because I really like the way they look. So anyway, yeah, I like this bike. I definitely recommend it. Thanks for watching. Zapstream out.